Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. In this video, we are going to solve one of the best quartic equation challenge. That is from one of our channel viewer. So thank you so much for giving me such problem. Problem is 4x power 4 plus 3x cube plus 2x square plus x equal to 0. I will begin with taking x common as you can see x is there. So I will take x common. Equation will become 4x cube first term, 3x square second term, 2x third term and last term is 1 after taking x common out. So from here we can conclude x is equal to 0 is the state of a solution of the equation. Now our target is to solve this cubic equation 3x square plus 2x plus 1. There are many other methods. I am solving using Cardano's method or Cardano's method. So I will depress here the equation that coefficient or the term which is having x square. So what is the way? Let's find out the depressed ratio. So that ratio will be minus b over a divided by the degree of the polynomial. So from there I can get substitution x is equal to y minus 1 over 4. So I will put this equation. So equation will give us 4 times y minus 1 over 4 whole cube plus 3 times y minus 1 over 4 whole square plus 2 times y minus 1 over 4 plus 1 equal to 0. Once you will simplify the LHS simply after using the algebraic identities and formulas, we will convert or we will get this equation as 4y cube plus 5 over 4 y plus 5 over 8 equal to 0. So our ultimate equation is this cubic and this is called depressed equation because there is no y square term. So I can use Cardano's method. So let me introduce here the general consideration or general cubic equation for Cardano's method y cube plus a y plus b equal to 0. Then we used to find out using cube root of unity alpha and beta. Then we will use the alpha plus beta, omega alpha plus omega square beta and so on we will find out our solution. Let's apply the first cube root formula. So that is alpha cube is equal to minus b over 2 plus square root b square by 4 plus a cube by 27. This is what we know. Okay. Now I will put a and b value. Now I will write our equation. See this is our equation. 4y cube plus 5 over 4y plus 5 over 8. Now we have to compare with the standard equation y cube plus a y plus b. So I will convert this into the standard form. So y cube divide this equation by 4. So it will become 5 over 16y plus 5 over 32 equal to 0. So this value is A and this value is B. So let's apply here. So I will write alpha cube equal to minus B by 2. So I can write minus 5 over 64, 32 times 2, 64 plus square root of B square. So 5 square 25. And 32 square is 1024 times 4, so 4096 plus a cube. So I will write 20, 125. 5 cube is 125 and 16 cube. So 16 square is 256 into 16 into 27. Okay, now from the square root, I can take 25 over 4096. I will take term common. So I will get here minus 5 over 64 plus 5 over 2 power 6 it would be. It is 2 power 12. 
4096. 2 part 10 is 1024. So 2 part 12 is 4096. Once we will take out, then it will become 2 power 6. And 2 power 6 is 64. So let me write directly. So it will give us a square root. What I will write? 5 over. So this value will be 1. And this will be 5 over 27. Done. Now consider the LCM. So I will write minus 5 over 64 plus 5 over 64. This will become 32 over 27. Let me take 5 over 64 common out. So I can write 5 over 64 inside the bracket square root 32 over 27 minus 1. Let's find the value using calculator. So it is 5 over 64. This square root value is 1.08866 minus 1. So it is 5 times 0 0.08866 divided by 64. So from here, alpha cube is coming out 0 0.006. 9262 and so on. So I will take cube root both sides. So I am getting alpha is equal to 0 0.1906. See these are the roots means I am substituting in the equation alpha plus beta that is m plus n form. We have discussed this concept in the previous video also. Now similarly I will calculate beta cube. So beta cube will be same formula minus b over 2. Now minus will come. A square root b square over 4 plus a cube over 27. Same way we will put the value. Let us put directly minus 5 over 64. Same way we will get minus 5 over 64. Only sign change is there. And then I will consider a square root 32 over 27 plus 1. It is a square root 32 over 27 plus 1 this time. Okay. Once you will take common out. So inside here we are having this term. And once I will take common 5 over 64, then I will get a square root 32 over 27 plus 1. This is what I am saying actually. Okay. Now simply put the value. So I will write minus 5 over 64. And inside this I will write this time 2.08866. Same way. But this time numbers will add. And if you will multiply this. So this value is coming out minus 0 0.16317. This is our beta cube. So beta is taking cube root both sides. So beta or n whatever you are taking. So that value will be 0 0.5464. Let me write alpha and what we calculated uh, beta and what we calculated alpha that value is 0 0.1906. Both values are here. Now task is very simple. We have to find out alpha plus beta the final solution. So let me write here y1, y2, y3. So let me write here y1 will be equal to alpha plus beta, y2 will be equal to alpha omega plus beta omega square and y3 will be equal to alpha omega square plus beta omega where omega is cube root of unity with is having value minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2. This is the value of cube root of unity omega. Okay. So only need to substitute the value. Like if I will add both alpha and beta, then I will get first y value. So let us find. So y1 will be equal to alpha plus beta. So what will add? We'll add both alpha 0 0.19. Uh, 0 0.06 0 0.1906 plus beta was negative 0 
5464 okay once i will add both i will get my y1 value it is not x value so y1 value is coming out minus 0.3558 and remember this is your y1 so x1 will be equal to x1 was our substitution what we substituted earlier the value of y was if you remember that value x was y minus 1 over 4 so i can write here x1 will be y1 minus 1 by 4 so i will write minus 0 0.3558 minus 0 0.25 now this is our first solution of the cubic polynomial so x1 is minus 0 0.3558 6058 this is our first solution similarly y2 y2 if i will write then i will write omega alpha plus omega square beta if you will find out this value after putting omega alpha and beta all then you will be having value 0 0.17791 plus i times complex it is 0 0.6383 So x2 will be same way from here x2 will be y2 minus 1 by 4 so 0 0.5 put this value you will get your answer minus 0 0.07209 plus 0 0.6383i similarly x3 y3 minus 0 0.25 and if i will write i will get the complex conjugate 07209 minus 0 0.6383 i so there are total four solutions of the equation here we are having three this is from the cubic equation these three solutions one is real two complex and very first was x is equal to 0. So total 1, 2, 3 and 4 solutions for the given quartic equation. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.